check out this entry from Joe Sanfilippo on uh, Twitter. He is part of my professional learning network, someone that I follow. Definitely worth a follow if you are not already. All right, everybody, Saturday morning. Fall Creek, Wisconsin. Woman walk to work, and here's what I'm thinking about today. So yesterday I saw a graphic online that had pictures of Bob Ross, LeVar Burton, uh, Mr. Rogers, and Steve Irwin, and the caption read, some of our best teachers taught virtually. <laughs> and though all these men have had an impact on my life at some point, like they also had full production crews, and their shows were like 30 minutes, all right? <laughs> our people are doing this all day, every day, and, man, they are tired, right? Thankfully, our staff has a full week break next week and we told them that we want them to take a step back from the day-to-day -day operation of school and really invest in the people that they care about the most because a lot of times we think that the people that they care about the most often give them the most latitude during school and they shouldn't have to and i think saying that is one thing but i think as leaders we need to take an active role in allowing people to break away from school and at times i feel like in an effort to inform i tend to overwhelm which impacts whether or not people can actually break away from school. You know, I'll send an email out uh, just so they have the information when they come back. Or I'll send a text message and then at the bottom I'll write, just FYI. Like, like just FYI fixes the whole thing, right? It may take something off of my mind, but it puts it directly on theirs. And our job is to do exactly the opposite of that. So the leadership challenge for next week is simply this. If you want to appreciate your staff during a break, model what it means to actually take a break. We told our staff yesterday that they're not going to hear from us until next weekend at the earliest. So don't check your email. <laughs> I think we just need to take a collective break as a group, right? And you may ask, well, then, Joe, why are you walking to school on a Saturday? People, I got granola stashed in my office because if I keep it at home, my kids are going to steal it. <laughs> like, I'm just going for breakfast. <laughs> just got to take care of each other. All right, people, that's all I got. We're all sitting together, man. Have a great week, everybody. Go Crickets. Hey, Distance Learning Diary Week uh, 13. Uh, happy belated Thanksgiving to everyone. A special happy Thanksgiving to these guys. My biggest fans, they missed me. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Um, so that post kind of um, definitely was uh, resonated with me. And, and not, I'm not an administrator. Um, but I think that it's important that, that even we as educators look to, you know, give our students a little bit of space during that holiday time, too. Um, and as we gear up towards our next holiday break, um, how are we all going to, you know, continue to do that? Creating community in our, in our classrooms is good, but also taking a step back and giving, you know, giving some space uh, to people during the holiday season is also uh, just as important. So um, it's something that I'm going to reflect upon. Um, you know, I still had to do some work over the break. It was hard to shut it down, um, but definitely, you know, didn't assign anything to my students and gave them the space to spend time with their families and recharge the batteries a little bit as we move into the month of December, which is always a challenging month um, leading up to, uh, you know, the holiday winter break. Um, so at, as always, um, I appreciate people uh, sharing and sending this message out on your social media pages. Please continue to do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to everybody next week.